So now, let's take it a little more cooler. Now let's take a little, this is multiple, this is multiple like choice. So how does this work? Hmm. Well, the other ones I had before were preset. So they were exactly what I wanted automatically when I hit that voting button, which was this one that I created right here. But what happens if you want flexibility? Well, that's called ad hoc voting, which means you could do things on the fly, which I'm going to do right now. So how do I do that? I open up what they call this thing right here, which is called the express poll. Now, I have it set up so the express poll will automatically open by pressing this. And there it is. It's hard to find because it sometimes camouflages with it. But I can move this anywhere on the screen. It even stays on the desktop if you have Active Expression, the uh, Active Inspire flip chart closed or minimized. So now what can I do? I can pick any kind of question I want on the fly, which will probably use this the most. So now, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to first start off and figure out what genre it belongs to. And then I'm going to have you vote again to find out the tense. Is it past tense, present tense, or future tense? So here we go. In a tower way up high, there was a girl who screamed and cried. And there's no period, so let's fix that one. There. That's the other thing. You can just add it right on the fly. All right, so what can I do? Well, how many choices are there? Six, right? Six choices. So all I have to do is click on this. I want to have it multiple choice, which is what this is. I want you to have A through F. And I only want you to pick one answer. Now you can vote. Now look on your devices. It should show A through F as your choice. Oh yeah, sorry. So what's the question? So the question is, what is the genre? What do you think it is? All right. So it looks like the majority of the class, and this is where, is it a right or wrong answer? Well, that's up to the discussion, right? But it looks like the majority say D, but this is where the 21st century learning comes in. Why? Why did you pick D? Who would like to share that? So I could go here, and if we are a class that is okay with having a result shown with who we can answer what, I could go in here and say, oh, okay, yes. Spike, Spike, why did you uh, <laughs> go with D, which was a traditional right. tale? <laughs> so why'd you go with D? Well, you went with, I just guessed. You went with D. It's telling a story, oh. and even though it rhymes, it doesn't appear like verse. Okay. It could have been verse if there was directly below the in, then I would have chosen verse. Okay. Or it looks like it's formatted more like a story than verse. Okay. So it looks more like a story. Then. Okay. So traditional tale then. So somebody who picked F, which was a mystery story, why did you pick a mystery story? The screen and cry. Very good. See? See how that discussion comes about where you go, oh, that could be. Does anyone want to defend that argument? Does anyone want to agree with that? What do you want to add to that? That's powerful, and that's what you can do just from this. All right, so now, now let's talk about tense. So we got the genre right. Now let's see. It could be a traditional tale, but screen and cried, absolutely. A tower doesn't have to be in a castle, does it? To be in a modern building where a mystery could take place. Good observation. That's thinking oh, out of the box. You're so smart. Very good. Now, is it right or wrong? Depends how well he defends his answer, right? Well. His, his answer was really good, how he defended it. All right, so now I'm going to do it again. And this time, I'm going to do this choice. Is it past, present, or future tense? So I just go over here, multiple choice, get this one, go. It's that fast. Make sure you submit. That's always what students do. Oh, yay. All right. It's passed. So now, if we wanted to, and we had Active Inspire on our screen, we could pass it to the students and say, how do you know it's passed? 
And what they would do on the thing is they would take the highlighter and they go, well, because this word right here, screen and cried, is past tense. Because it was. was. And was. Right? So you could have the students go and annotate that if they wanted to. Now, of course, it's basic, but you could take it to the next level, whatever you want. With Shakespeare, <coughs> you know, American literature, world literature, yes. So, what you're doing on the Prometheus board, this is what we would be doing on our tablets, is walking around and say, have the kid, okay, highlight where there's the... Exactly. You would have to, because I know the agreement is it's not just the teachers, it's everybody in the classrooms. So using that as an opportunity for them to use it as a tablet to have the interface go with the television is the way that you can do it, which is nice because then you can just pass it around and while you're instructing, you go, okay, so would you share it with us? And it won't take long, let's go use the, high, the, the stylus and there you go. Is there a, a way to, if your kid has an Apple phone or something like that, to use Apple phone? I'm going to show you. Okay. There's a program called Socrative, which I'm going to show you that's going to be, I think it's the next one actually, where we're going to take it to the next level. Instead of me coming up with the choices, you are going to come up with the choices. Okay? So here we go.